Welcome back to No Rhyme, No Reason. I'm your host, Aaron Bertrand, and as always, I'm joined by my co-host, Popeye. Hello, everyone. And Ernesto. Yellow. So this week, we're going to talk about our podcast. Uh, We are currently sitting at episode eight, and in a short amount of time, we have learned a lot, and we thought it'd be interesting to just go over some of the stuff involved with making the show, and uh, maybe just discuss each of our thoughts about this podcast, and at the end, maybe talk about some podcasts in general. Just give a shout out to a couple that we listen to, a couple that we like, and you know how they inspire us or whatever. So basically, I'll start and just say that I I, I do all the work for the podcast. Uh, if I'm starting at the very beginning, the short story is that we all listen to podcasts, and I assumed that it would be easy. I asked these guys if they wanted in, and then figured out that actually there was a bit of work involved. Uh, Ernesto came up with a name, and then I went from there and grabbed the domain name, locked down some social media stuff, researched the microphones, and then we used a couple sites uh, to mix the audio. So we use a website called Zencaster, which is how we capture the audio and mix it together. And then I edit it with Audacity. Very simple, very basic stuff. It's a learning curve, but it was pretty easy to get over. Um, it was sort of an experiment, I think, for me just to see if we could make it happen. And if we were all happy with where it was at, we could maybe take it from there. But I think we're at that point where we've had some good success with it and we've got it down to a rhythm. So now we're just trying to figure out where we're going to take it from here, I guess. That's pretty much it. There's nothing more to it. And it's a fun little thing we do. And it'd be very interesting to hear Ernesto and Popeye's takes on what, what they think about the podcast and what where they see it going. Yeah, Papa, I'll let you uh, I'll let you spin this one off first. All right. Well, um, basically how Wayne said it, uh, he is very correct in saying he does all of the work pretty much with the podcast. So a big shout out to Wayne. He did ask us or he asked me uh, if I listened to podcasts and then basically was just saying, well, would you like to make one with Ernesto and I? Pretty much I said, yeah, of course. I like recording every week. I get to just talk to you guys about whatever we're going to talk about. I mean, you hit a lot of points and covered a lot of stuff. I don't know if I can top that. Uh, Let me uh, let me save the day here, Popeye. Uh, Yeah. So so Wayne does, you know, a bunch of the technological things um, for the podcast and pretty much coordinates when we're going to record uh and we all kind of you know give a general consensus about what the shows will be about you know but like like the show is named it's no rhyme no reason so i mean it it just flip flops from one topic to the next to the next and next and it's pretty much the way that we come up with the topics that we talk about is you know we record on on wednesdays and, you know, that Monday or Tuesday, we kind of have a group discussion about, OK, so so what are we talking about uh, this week? Because we usually have no idea. And then we come up with an, a, a topic, kind of have a, a breakdown of what that that uh, that podcast is going to look like, like a schedule format and um, just go from there. So so today's we were batting around. You know, do we do Halloween? Do we do this? Do we do that? We've got a couple of things that we want to touch base with. And then we actually got a comment. It was on one of one of our previous episodes, and they said that we should do a podcast about podcasts. Correct? Yes, that is correct. So yeah, that's uh that's where we're we are today. And that's that's kind of the premise of this one. And uh I'll, uh, let's let's who's going first here, Wayne Popeye, myself. I think you should go into some detail about how you are the podcast because you know without you, it's not even a thing. Everyone knows that, all right. It's it it, it would be me telling telling the listeners what they already know, which is Ernesto's pizzazz, Ernesto's you know the proverbial sizzle, if you will, to to this bland steak and potatoes that podcast would be without me. Ernest is the talk of the town, pretty much. I am the talk of the town. I keep the energy going. I, 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 you guys back and forth yourselves without you know the occasional jab at Ernesto. There's not a lot of you know comedic relief there. Mm, uh, I see. Yeah. You guys, you guys have a decent back and forth. There's not that much of a dynamic between the two of you. 
I just think it's so funny that you think that you're the the sizzle reel. So if we did a podcast without you, you don't think anyone would listen to it? I think three people would listen to it. <laughs> you're married. You guys are married to two of them. And I don't know who the third one would be. Probably the person who probably the person who I'm their least favorite person on the podcast. I I would love to take that challenge and just actually like post it everywhere and make sure that everyone listens to it. It'd be awesome. Get a lot of good feedback. Oh, new format for the show. <laughs> I'm okay and I will let this fly. Just <clears throat> to just to it's in any chance that I have that I can prove myself right. I will take it. So if you guys want to record a podcast, Ernesto free, and just see how it goes, that's fine with me. You have my blessing. Ernesto be with you. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm taking notes here for potential show ideas. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's take those notes. I don't know what you guys are going to talk about, but... We should just talk the entire episode about you. It'll be very <laughs> ironic. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's fine. That'd be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I second that notion because then I'm not there to defend myself. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Ernesto, he made some good points. Like, yeah, last minute, two days before we're recording, we're starting to try and come up with ideas. Um, we we quickly decided that this would be what way more fun and make more sense to do it as a weekly podcast. Um, a lot of a lot of podcasts out there, either, you know, twice a week or at least once a week, if not more. Uh, we felt like we wanted to try and keep up with that and do the same thing. But it's funny to just come into, uh, you know, Tuesday, roll into Tuesday night and we still have no idea what we're talking about. And I think the name of the podcast sort of merits the fact that, yeah, we have there's no there's nothing that we have planned super in depth, but we do try and come up with a schedule and a general idea and hope that it goes somewhere. Um, for the most part, it's it's been hit or miss, I feel like. But overall, great success. Yeah. That's fun to just shoot the shit. Yeah, always fun. Always a good time. Always a blast. Yeah. My my favorite part every week is coming in and listening to uh, Ernesto warm up his vocal cords. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I have a bunch of uh, a bunch of verbal cues. Like I said, I'm the sizzle. So, I mean, if we lose the sizzle, the the podcast is dead. Mm. You don't want to give the listeners a taste. Yeah, you know, simple things like uh, red leather, yellow leather, unique New York. Unique New York. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Things like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's you can't it it doesn't get better than that. We could just we could have you know, you guys can have your own podcast. I'll have my own podcast where I just go through verbal cues. I go through vocal cues the entire podcast. Twenty four minutes of vocal cues. All right. Vocal warm ups. We'll, we'll record we'll record both of those at the same time. You can record yours, we'll record ours, and we'll see which one has more listens. <laughs> see which one <laughs> more li- you guys actually having a discussion or me just doing vocal warm-ups i think <laughs> yes uh the odds are in my favor <laughs> a real a real nice um sound that i'm glad is back is the chirp so i'm glad that we're back to normal with that yeah you guys are welcome i you know i like the the solace in my office uh, but the people spoke. They wanted the they wanted the uh, smoke detector. What people spoke, and I uh, so I delivered the people. Hold the on, listeners. I'm, I'm searching through all of our comments that we've gotten. Uh, ooh, don't see it. Don't see it. <laughs> oh, it's in the, it's it's uh the, it's it's actually in the DMs and on our Instagram page. Oh. Ah, I do not have those. Yep. Yeah. Ernesto runs the Instagram page. You can give it a quick follow at official no rhyme, no reason. And uh, go ahead, shoot me a DM if there's any other requests that you may have. I just want your DMs to blow up with, uh, please fix the fire alarm. That'd be hilarious to me. <laughs> please, p- please message that to the official no rhyme, no reason podcast. I would love to uh, know that it's driving him insane. Well, if that is, if that's the case, then I'll have a uh, poll and, Fix it or don't fix it, and whichever wins will uh will get done. All right, let me let, give me enough notice so that I can uh, hire some Russian hackers to invade that poll. But we'll be good. We'll be good. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So how about we roll this into just talking about some of our favorite podcasts? Um, I know we were all 
sort of a big avid fan of podcasts when we discuss doing our own. Um, I think we've got a lot that we listen to, but how we just give a shout out to a couple that we really like. And Ernesto, you want to give it a start? Uh, yeah, I can take lead on this. Um, so, so two things that I really enjoy are fancy football, as we have mentioned on the podcast before. And um, I actually got really into the whole motivational speaking, you know, things like uh, people like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, Tony Robbins, um, Jim Rohn, things like that. So I've always been pretty deeply entranced with, you know, philosophy and and motivators and, you know, the, the human mindset. And so um, so two shows that I listen to a uh, the fantasy footballers is a fancy football podcast, as you may guess. It really got me, it's the podcast that really got me pretty deeply involved in fantasy football. Nowadays, I mean, I, I pay attention to enough stuff and, you know, injury reports, weather reports, seeing how, how defenses stand up to opposing, you know, offensive weapons, things like that, to the point where I can be dangerous enough without them. Uh, it's really just a... a, a a source of reaffirmation at this point. Um, but they're, it's extremely entertaining. It's extremely comical. I love the format they have. It's almost like a full blown TV show and their podcast. And they utilize YouTube, um, extremely well with their podcast. So they're probably my number one. I know Wayne, you, we've spoken about it before. I know you've listened to them. Yeah. They're very funny. They uh, they have, like you said, a good format. I like listening to them because I feel like they have some differing opinions yeah. than most of the like sports websites, yeah. which is cool to see. You know, obviously with fantasy football, you can be wrong, but you know they they sort of just go with it, and it's funny. You know, they give each other a hard time when things don't go out the way that they say, but it's a cool group of guys and definitely uh, some funny stuff. Yeah. No, and yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. They're just a couple of friends. They, I mean, the the podcast started because they all worked together, and they would go to lunch and talk about fantasy football to the point where it drove their coworkers crazy. So they just started doing a podcast with it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, uh, Pop, I don't know. You know, after your after your football, if your fantasy football draft, I don't know if you listen to them whatsoever. Um, no, but I think I will have to start. Uh, yes, you do. You should have start started months ago. I will say that uh, I did win this week by. He did. Oh. It was. He did. What was that? Your second win. Second win. Your second, second win? win. So I think I matched up for last year already. Wayne, let's give him a round of applause. Also, I want to say uh, Tony Robbins is a weird dude. Inspirational, but he's a weird <laughs> fucking dude. What? Where have you like? From? Have you seen? I've seen like these videos off of a podcast that I will mention later, um, talking about Tony Robbins. So we'll we can pick it yeah, up we, <laughs> once we, we get, get some. We can pick it up. I mean, uh, so the other one is. Um, Andy Frazella, he uh, he's the CEO of First Form and a couple other companies, and he has this podcast called the the MF CEO Con, uh, podcast, which it stands for the motherfucking CEO podcast. Um, and I mean, he just true grit, no bullshit, no fluff, no frills, just talks like the ins and outs of like the mindset and like the the tenacity and the work ethic that it takes to to just get you done in life so um i love uh, i love the realness that it has i love the authenticity there so those those are pr- pretty much my top two as far as podcasts go two very opposing things but that's that's me i'm in all i'm all over the place what about you guys what about what who am i who am i let's all do right, this i will segue into this um so one of my favorite podcasts is uh your mom's house with Tom Segura and Christina Pazinski. Um, Tom Segura, if you don't, well, Tom Segura and his wife, Christina Pazinski are both comedians. They are both very funny. Um, If you have not seen any of their Netflix specials or comedy specials, I would highly recommend watching them. Tom Segura's podcast 
they have a lot of inside jokes with the community, which um, I like. They talk about a lot of fucked up humor, which I I'm I like fucked up humor. So, uh, and then uh, my second one that I believe was talking about Tony Robbins, if it wasn't the Tom Segura podcast, is the Joe Rogan Experience. I think they're taught. They showed a video of Tony Robbins on his island that he owns. Yeah. In Fiji. All, all these people, like, they are paid to sit to know certain songs, like when he eats, to sing in front of him. And they gather and commune when he arrives and then when he leaves. And then um, they all call him their dad or something i'm not quite sure but look it up super weird i'm not defending tony robbins by any means uh, by any stretch of the imagination but i would a hundred percent do shit like that if i had mu- as much money as tony robbins as i was about to say like that's something it sounds exactly like ernesto like this sounds like something he strives to be it's almost like he wants people to worship him, and that's very You're literally and describing your nest. One hundred percent. You are describing me. Like I like people always. I was th- like I was thinking about today, like in the gym. Like uh, I know we've got the lottery thing going on. I was like, oh, what would I be like if I was like massively, massively rich? And then I was like, what what would I be like if I just had like I was all powerful and I had superpowers? And it was like I. I would just do like crazy shit. I would, I would be godlike. It would not be great for the mor- for the people around the mortals around me. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are my two. Uh your mom's house podcasts. Uh they have a lot of super funny guests. The chemistry is awesome. They're just great. And the Joe Rogan experience just because he has a lot of very high up guests like neil degrasse tyson was on hey he was supposed to be on our podcast he was yes he was but i think i remember wayne saying that you did not send to the right address yeah. different different so. neil degrasse tyson all right yeah so. so uh wayne what do you uh what do you got in your wheelhouse wayne all right, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I think uh, you guys probably, especially Popeye, both of those are pretty uh, humorous podcasts. Um, I'll try and take it a different route and go some shout outs to some podcasts that are a little, little bit more serious or informational. Um, mm-hmm. A really popular one, I know a lot of people probably listen to it, but I always recommend it, Stuff You Should Know. It's just two guys that they pick a random subject and they go into detail about it and it's just cool. Some things, you know, it's like, I don't really think that that's interesting, but they find a way to give you some information about the topic and it's anything and everything is up for grabs. I, I would recommend it if you just scroll through their list of, I think they're at like 300 something. Now it's insane of, or it's probably more than that. Uh, just go through them and see all the different topics and just listen to a couple that look interesting. They do a lot of research beforehand, which is cool. Another one that's probably a bit more serious and, Ernesto might accidentally stumble upon it thinking that it's good is uh, it's called death, sex and money. Sounds like I love this show. You're not going, <laughs> you really aren't going to though. It's, it's, it's actually pretty like dark and almost sobering. Uh, it's just opening up people's minds to some of the crazy stuff that goes on in the world in relation to those topics. But you know, it's, it's like, you know, credit card debt and like, you know, harassment and people dying and leaving behind tons of problems for you to deal with. It's just, it's a little dark, but it's crazy things that not a lot of people will talk about or think about, but probably should be talked about. So yeah. I don't know. I like the host. Like I like podcasts with high production values, which is sort of ironic since this one is pretty low, but uh, there's a lot of good ones out there. I mean, I could go on and on. There's a lot of really good podcasts out there. If, if anyone else wants us to do some more, I could definitely keep going into ones that I listen to. I think in in the respect of time we can we can cut it off there and i don't know if anyone else has any more comments for this episode uh no um just a quick uh just you know always shouting out our social media i mentioned instagram a little bit earlier official no rhyme no reason um we are also on twitter i am on twitter as nr2 ernesto i believe 
Popeye is on Twitter as NR2 Aaron. And Wayne, are you on Twitter? <laughs> I am on Twitter. I have not done anything, but I do have NR2 Aaron, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Well, it them. looks like they're currently fighting over <laughs> NR2 Aaron, folks. So just follow me on Twitter for now, and then I'll sort out the rest later. Uh, and then also you can find us on Facebook at No Rhyme, No Reason Podcast. Uh, there's a business page there. Where we're putting up full uh, episodes for you to view. And also, like uh, Ernesto and Wayne mentioned previously, um, please leave us a comment or email us at info at no rhyme, no reason dot com. And uh, if you want us to talk about something or have any questions for us or want us to do an episode on a certain subject, please just let us know. Uh, like I said, write us a comment or email us at info at no rhyme, no reason dot com. Nice. And Ernesto mentioned it, but we do record on Wednesdays and next Wednesday is Halloween. So uh, instead of recording on Halloween and having to deal with doorbells in the background, which probably are somehow more annoying than smoke detectors, um, we're going to record the Halloween episode a little earlier, release it a little earlier, and there won't be one next Friday. So just look for one to drop a, a bit before Halloween. And I guess thanks for listening to No Rhyme, No Reason. I'm Aaron, and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Have a great one, everyone.